In 1914, the tensions generated by international rivalries exploded into general war. The spark that led to the explosion occurred in the Bosnian town of Sarajevo, where a Serb terrorist assassinated Austrian Crown Prince Franz Ferdinand. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, and an intricate chain of alliances began to draw the great powers into the war. Two sides formed, the Allies and the Central Powers. Russia was first to mobilize its army, coming to the aid of Serbia and provoking a German declaration of war. Bound by a treaty with Russia, France mobilized too, and when Germany violated the neutrality of Belgium, Britain declared war. Other European powers were soon drawn into the conflict, and eventually it turned into a global war with the United States joining the Allies in 1917. Combat began on August 4th, when a German task force crossed the Belgian border and soon overran the country. Eight days later, Austria invaded Serbia. Russia attacked Germany, advancing into East Prussia and also striking at Galicia in Austria-Hungary. After achieving a major breakthrough in France, the German offensive began to stall just 15 miles from Paris. On the Eastern Front, the Germans met the Russians at Tannenberg and inflicted on them a crushing defeat. On the Western Front, the Allies counterattacked at the Marne, driving the Germans back. And at Ypres, they fought off a German drive to capture the vital channel ports, with both sides racing to the sea in an effort to outflank the other. By Christmas 1914, the Western Front was stabilized, and a solid line stretched from the English Channel to Switzerland. On the Eastern Front, the Russians withdrew from East Prussia when the Germans attacked Poland. In the Caucasus region, the Turks seized Russian and Persian territory, but were driven back in January 1915. On the Eastern Front, Germany and Austria prepared for a new offensive. Launched in May, it advanced the front line 300 miles and resulted in 2 million Russian casualties. New Allied offensives in France achieved little, and at Ypres, the Germans initiated the use of poison gas with horrifying consequences. Italy entered the war in May, but in a series of fruitless drives at Austria, lost 280,000 men in six months. In an attempt to knock Turkey out of the war, the Allies launched an invasion at Gallipoli, but badly organized it was abandoned in 1916. In the Balkans, armies from Austria, Germany, and Bulgaria finally overwhelmed all Serbian resistance. The Germans renewed their western offensive in 1916, attacking Verdun with the deliberate intention of bleeding white the French army. The defense of Verdun left over half a million French casualties. The Allies began their own counteroffensive at the Somme, where the British used tanks for the first time, but the attacks achieved little more than horrendous casualties. In the east, the Russians began the Brusilov offensive across a 300-mile wide front. It was finally checked when German reinforcements were rushed in from Verdun. Encouraged by early Russian successes, Romania joined in the offensive, but the country was eventually occupied by Austro-German forces. The one major naval engagement of the war, the Battle of Jutland, fought in May 1916 between the main British and German fleets, ended indecisively. Elsewhere, Allied forces captured some Albanian territory, but lost ground in Greece while Russia advanced in Turkey. The British also advanced in Mesopotamia, and Colonel T.E. Lawrence, soon to gain worldwide fame as Lawrence of Arabia, helped organize an Arab revolt against the Turkish Empire. Anticipating a new Allied offensive in the spring of 1917, the Germans withdrew to the Hindenburg Line. In the attacks that followed, French casualties were so heavy that soldiers resorted to mutiny. Before the Germans could take advantage of the French setbacks, the British began a new offensive. They suffered 240,000 casualties at the Third Battle of Ypres. The Italians renewed their attacks at Asanzo, achieving some success at first, but German troops were rushed to the front and driven back in catastrophic retreat, Italy lost 275,000 men as prisoners. The Allies suffered a worse setback when revolution toppled the Tsar. As the Russian army disintegrated, the Germans recaptured lost ground 
and in December, the Bolshevik government signed a truce with Germany, effectively ending Russian participation in the war. In the Middle East, the British took Baghdad and breaking through Turkish defenses in Palestine, entered Jerusalem. By 1918, fresh American troops began to reach the Western Front in increasing numbers. The Germans planned a final assault before American manpower could influence the outcome. Shifting forces from the Russian Front, they began a series of thrusts at the Allied lines and eventually reached the Marne again. Newly arrived American troops stanched one German offensive and in the counterattack seized Bellow Wood. The Germans renewed their efforts, but with American troops arriving at a rate of 300,000 a month, Allied counterattacks repulsed them. Having suffered half a million casualties in five months, the German army was spent and the Allies took the initiative. The Americans attacked in San Miel and also spearheaded the Meuse-Argonne offensive. Although the Central Powers occupied huge areas of Russia, their war effort was collapsing. The Allies advanced in Italy, in the Balkans, and in the Middle East, and continued their offensive on the Western Front. With its forces in retreat, Germany asked for an armistice. On November 11, 1918, the fighting stopped. The Paris Peace Conference of 1919 imposed stiff reparations on the Central Powers, redrew the map of Europe in the Middle East and sowed the seeds for a second world conflict that would erupt 20 years later.